today. <laughs> I have my setup here because we're about to do some DIY nails. I bought quite a few nails from Shein over the holidays for my birthday and for Christmas. They were like two bucks a pack. There's another one. Let me put the plastic back on it so it doesn't fall out. Those are really super cute right there. We got the light. Hold on. The light is not our friend right now. Those are super cute. And then these. And <clears throat> I noticed that they came with nail glue. I have not ever used nail glue before. And so I'm just going to give that a try. I've tried s and &S. I've tried, let me give you some more light so you can see me again. Sorry, y'all. We're going to supposed to just be focused on this. And then <clears throat> we'll... Y'all get what we trying to do up in here. So, because <laughs> you know the lighting is bad in my bedroom. But I've tried s, &S. I've tried, I have not yet tried full acrylic. Um, and then I have tried, which is, so s, &S is the powder. And then I've just tried press-on nails, you know, just applying it with glue. I've tried it using um, a primer. I've tried it without the primer. For me, my I have the biggest issue with nails lifting. So I'm trying to resolve that issue because other than that, I pretty much kind of got it. I've tried nail art. And also with the, these are the nails. These are my natural nails with the environmentally friendly nail polish and i do like using this it works very well but it chips really badly as you can see so this this actually was nail art as you can see it's really bad it's chipping terribly but these were the nails that i last showed you in um, a reel or a TikTok. so I'm going to attempt to use the nail adhesive pads or whatever, whatever they're called. What are they called? Adhesive tape. <laughs> I'm going to use the nail adhesive tape. I don't want to mess up any of the cuter nails. <laughs> yeah. Just in case I make a complete mess. These are like my favorite. Those are very, I mean, fire, just fire. Um, so I think I'm not going to use these and I'm going to go with these. These seem really, really cute, um, at first glance, but in my opinion, the glitter at the bottom cheapens it. It could have just been the white and the, you know, the black, the, the kind of, um, color blocking that would have been really cool as opposed to adding the gilt glitter in that particular case. The glitter was too much. Like too much was too much. Not like too much is not ever a bad thing. Like too much was too much. And what you see here, <clears throat> these were some of the nails that I picked up from the dollar store. You'd be surprised or actually you wouldn't be surprised because now but most of us, if you know, you know. So I'm going to give these a whirl and let's hope for the best. Stick with me. I thought about also using gel. I got this from the dollar store as well. I don't know if you've seen these lately. They've got about three or four colors and I picked that up. I did buy um, an LED lamp from Shein. Uh, I did check, there is no cancer warning on the back of this particular um, product. I would always highly recommend that you read uh, the product labels so that you know what you're getting. And there you have it. So let's get into this. No, I don't want to say that because that's like robotic. Let's get started. See what we can do. <laughs> Did you hear it fall? 
That's hilarious, right? Damn. <laughs> My voodoo, what she do? 
My lips will bamboozle, bewilder, and will entrap you. Red like a brick house, seduce you with my harmonious lyrical say so, yep. So you gotta get up. Come on, pop, wine, then grind, follow me. Pop, wine, then grind, follow me. My fire, baby. This is true creativity. Uh. Overconfident. Okay, so we can turn this light over here a bit. So we have the light, but it's not blaring, if you will. Okay, my final thoughts on this. So they look really, really amazing. They really do. See that? They look really good. And I'm going to give a better shot um, at the end of the video as well. I feel like it's just a little, still not getting a crystal clear shot. <clears throat> yeah, we're getting a little bit. Hold on one second. Okay. And I'm watching one of my favorite YouTubers, um, Alicia. 10 ways to wear it. I actually need to also subscribe to her sister's channel. She has a twin. Um, she does more travel vlogs, according to um, Alicia. I haven't uh, tuned in yet, but I will. So yeah, my final thoughts. So it looks really good. Very neat. Yeah, it's not completely you know, given complete coverage. You can see that there. But it is still, I think it's just a matter of how I applied it. Uh, for the most part, all the other nails are given complete coverage for the most part. You can kind of see that's not complete coverage there. And that's always my gauge for you know press on nails quick nails if you will but it definitely is and i'll have to get that off in a second it's definitely giving um a, a nice quick alternative without question the nails are not sharp on the edges so i don't need to file them down it was quick to apply i felt immediately that the tape was a lot more secure than the glue so I'm really, really feeling that, especially for something that you're doing very quick. You need to change them out. Like if you're doing different looks for, um, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a shoot or something like that. You know, when we're making our reels and we don't want to keep the same nails, go back to bare nails and then 
just apply several different types of fashion nails and you can i mean you could clearly it appears you can have endless options in that one shoot i love the option of that so these definitely come in handy and they will definitely now be a part of my regimen because right now i am indecisive that's also another good uh use of these if you're indecisive on whether or not you want almond nails or coffin nails or stiletto nails or um square uh some people call them mom nails you know just like the classic uh acrylic square or rounded square shorter nails right if you are not even sure you want any um nails and you want to just paint your own nails, whether you want to do gel or SNS or acrylic, or excuse me, not SNS or acrylic, but SNS or um, uh, gel or, you know, just regular polish, like in this case, because they're not, there are more options environmentally sustainable, but they're not as many options that are environmentally sustainable when compared to the other options out there. So there's so many different things that we can do with our nails that are safe, that are not going to entail some type of <laughs> cancerous, um, looming risk, if you will. So I am really feeling these, really, really feeling these. I don't see where there's any uh, cancer risk on the box either. It's just PVC, which we expect. The material wise, I'll show you here, it's just PVC. And actually I'll take a, there you go, you can see it, PVC. But yeah, I'm thinking these are definitely a look. I don't feel like they're going to come up. So overall, I am saying yes to these nails without question. I would definitely highly recommend. I know some of you out there are already using them for these very same purposes. This video may not be for you, but it's for the individuals who have not tried the Shein nails yet and the, the adhesive tape. And I'm here to say that it definitely has its purpose in our fashion lives <laughs> and i'm gonna rock them today and i will let you know i'll come back and give you an update and maybe a net another vlog or maybe i'll update the description and let you know how they stood up to the test of just a day out chilling and hanging out y'all have a wonderful day and make sure to subscribe like and comment and share bye y'all so i'm not really having any problem getting my bracelets on. I'm using the side of my nail as opposed to the fake nail. So it works out pretty good. So that's a win. Yeah, not bad. All right, so here's my fit. I'll show you the rest in just one second. I'll give you an angle of the shoes. Definitely wearing my ombre oud today. I already sprayed. So here we are. I am wearing my Coach Vintage sneakers. Check the earrings. These are from Shein. I'll give you a closer look. With some photos later on. Definitely follow me on Instagram because that's where they'll be. Like this. Come on. I'm obsessed with it. I hate you. Quick shot, baby and me. All right, I'm gonna hang out a little bit.
not too much vlogging here because we're just chilling today. It's a chill day, not a lot of people out. It's Asa's Friday, it's Thursday around these parts. Hope you're having a wonderful day. That's the only thing that I don't like about this is that sometimes you have to reapply to get it just right. Make sure it's where it needs to be. Yeah, man.